This video will continue showing you how to use the Lighterama Show Editor to build a show. And um, there are lots of different options in shows, lots of different ways in which you can cause the show to behave. And so there are going to be several different videos to show various options. In previous videos in this series, um, we showed how to create a show that has sequences in its musical section. And uh, in one video, the first video, we showed how to play the sequences over and over in the order that you specify. In the next video, we switched that up a little bit by playing them in random order. You might want to go back and look at those earlier videos before watching this one. Um, but assuming you have watched those earlier videos, let's continue with this video to show you a bit more about the musical section, a couple other options that are available for you in the musical section of your show. So let's open up the sequence, excuse me, the show that we created before. And now here are the sequences that we put into the musical section of the show. And as you can see, we're shuffling them rather than playing them in order. So maybe um, when the show starts up, maybe the elements will play, and then Rudy's Arnie Whoop, and then Ashling, and then Daddy I'm Fine. Or any order that could be, maybe it would be. There are a couple other options that we haven't dealt with yet on the musical section. Um, the first one is uh, a delay, which uh, is basically after one show ends, excuse me, after one sequence ends, we can make it make a delay for, let's say, 10 seconds, and only after that 10 seconds has passed, then another sequence will start up. And maybe you might want to do that just to give people a chance to, you know, uh, talk about the show a little bit or say, wow, that was great, or <laughs> whatever, or move around. Uh, some people might leave and some others might come in. This will give them a nice little chance to do that. Or you might want to have no delay at all. And in that case, the next uh, sequence will start up as soon as possible after the previous sequence has finished. The other option is cleanup sequence. What a cleanup sequence is, is it's a sequence that will play after every single um, sequence in the uh, show. I excuse me, in the musical section of the show. So we have shuffle turned on now, and let's say the elements um, played first. After the elements finished, if we had a cleanup sequence, that cleanup sequence would then play. Then another random one from the list, maybe Ashling would play. And after Ashling finishes, if we had a cleanup sequence, we would play the cl cleanup sequence then. So let's add in a cleanup sequence just to see it. Click on that button there. And uh, cleanup sequences have to be uh, animation sequences. Um, and maybe we'll take this fade wipe. Now fade wipe is our cleanup sequence. And um, what this might do, this sequence might uh, uh, cause all of the lights on our display to fade up and then fade down, starting at the left-hand side of our house and kind of wiping across our house all the way to the right-hand side. And maybe that might be a nice little effect that you want to use in between each real main sequence in your musical section. You don't have to have a cleanup sequence. If you don't want one, you can get rid of it just by deleting it. But let's say we do want one. So again, we'll put in this fade wipe and click on open. And now, because we're shuffling, any of these songs might be played. Maybe Rudy's Arnie Whoop. After Rudy's Arnie Whoop, the fade, the fade wipe will play. Then maybe Daddy I'm Fine, fade wipe, <laughs> excuse me, fade wipe. Then the elements, fade wipe, Ashling, fade wipe, maybe daddy I'm fine, fade wipe, and so on. Fade wipe will play after every single one. Now that we've added in our cleanup sequence, let's save our show. And that's about it. I hope this helps.